So let's take a look at um, how big. How big is big? Anybody know? Anybody tell me how big big is? What am I? F it's, it's bigger than small. That is good. I like that. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. His wife's patting him on the back. Way to go. Honey. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> people say this to me all the time. I'll say, well, what, what's the main thing you want to accomplish in your life? And they'll look at me with complete sincerity and they'll say, I just want to be happy. Really? Anybody here want to be happy? Anybody? Anybody want to be happier than you are right now? Okay. Most of us would like to be happier than we are right now, right? I feel pretty happy right now, but wouldn't we like to be a little bit happier? I don't even know what the heck that means. Be happy. I want to be happy. What does that mean? I want to be fulfilled. What does that mean? Let's define it. Let's drill down. Let's get to absolute clarity. So um, how much is your, how, how much is enough? What is your magic number for financial independence? How many of you have written that down on paper? Come on, raise your hand. I'm not going to call on you. Just raise your hand if you've written down on paper. Two people. I made Jim Blakemore do this when I first met him. So, um, Now, if you don't know what that magic number is, what's the, what's the probability that your advisors know what that number is? How are you going to hit a target when you don't even know what the target is? I've got clients who uh, I've helped pro bono whose total net worth is less than $50,000. They live on Social Security. They're happy, they're fulfilled, and their lives are full of meaning. And I would define that as a successful and happy life. And then I meet people who say, the budget just to run my airplanes is a million seven a year. I got people who go through divorces and the alimony payments, $350,000 a month. And 10,000 of it goes to hair and nails. I don't know what the magic number is, but if you don't know what it is, you're sure not likely to get there. It ought to be on purpose. What if the really, really important issues in your life were clearly defined in writing and you had a purposeful plan for making them come to fruition. Do you think that would improve your probability of success? How many of you, raise your hand if you think that would improve your probability of success, okay? So everybody in this room is probably over the age of 15. Would that be a safe guess looking around here? So how does it, how does it happen that people get to be in their 30s, 40s? Some of you may even be in your 50s. Um, how is it possible that we get to this point in, in life, this age, and we don't already have absolute clarity on all of this stuff? And why don't the advisors in our lives have clarity on this stuff? 